How you doing guys? Malik over at Modern Pawn. Today we're going to talk about short stroke piston system versus direct impinge gas system or traditional M4 gas operated systems. Piston, direct impinge. We're using the LMT system right here. These are barrels out of an LMT MRP so that we can take everything out and show you what's going on without having to look inside the receiver. Uh, if you had a piston gun or a direct impinge gun that wasn't an LMT, the systems pretty much work the same. This is a short stroke piston system. This is a direct impinge traditional M4 style gas system. The direct impinge gas system, what's happening here, when the bolt carrier is forward, the bolt is fully in battery, the round is in the chamber, the firing pin strikes the primer, the bullet goes off as the bullet's traveling down the end of the barrel. At this point right here, when the bullet passes over this section, the gas block, gas is fed into this gas block, up into this gas tube, and pressurizes this area right here. The gas tube dumps the gas down and into the receiver, and there is a, a chamber at the back of the receive at the back of the bolt carrier group and where the gas rings sit which is about right here and there's basically a, a piston chamber that is pressurized what happens is it pushes the bolt forward and it pushes the carrier backwards as it pushes the carrier backwards the cam pin right here rides along the ramp and unlocks the bolt from the barrel extension. So as this is pressurized, there is pressure that is trying to separate the bolt carrier and the bolt head itself. The bolt can't go any farther forward, but the carrier can go backwards. So all that pressure is in force is pushed back this way. As this comes backwards, the carrier contacts the cam pin and starts to rotate the bolt head. As the bolt head rotates via pressure from the, car the cam pin, it unlocks, and when we get to this point right there, at this point, any excess pressure is then dumped out of the system, okay? It comes open, cycles, picks up the next round, the cycle repeats. When the bolt is locked into the barrel and the carrier is fully forward and the rifle is in battery, the gas rings are on this side right here of these two exhaust ports. So when the pressure comes down in here, it pressurizes this area right here and seals via the gas rings on the bolt right here. As it pressurizes, it's coming across and you'll be able to see if you look in those holes, there's the gas rings right there. At that point right there, the gas rings are now crossing these two exhaust ports. So if you were to think of this like a car engine, these, this is your exhaust manifold right here. This is where it's exhausting, is that, and obviously when the system opens up right there, uh, when it comes from here to there and, and this seal is broken, it, these are the gas rings, they s seal inside the carrier when this gas comes down and inside here it pressurizes this area right here it basically uses the bolt as the piston the bolt is the piston where the gas ring sit where the seal is made as it's pressurized it pushes the bolt forward but the bolt can't go any farther forward so what happens is the carrier goes backwards as the carrier goes backwards these gas rings cross these two exhaust ports vent gas out of here and any excess gas that's in the barrel system comes out of the back of the gas tube out of the front of the barrel or out of the barrel itself as the round is getting stripped or the spent case is getting stripped out of the barrel out of the chamber so what happens with a gas system and guys are like hey gas is dirtier than piston guns they don't run as cool as piston guns there is some truth in that. What happens with a gas gun, any excess gas is dumped into the upper lower receiver assembly. Your upper and lower receiver would be right here. All the gas is getting dumped inside here. 
The other thing that happens with a direct impinged system is that if you have a suppressor on here, suppressors generally create an overpressured system. They will increase the, the dwell time of the pressure in the barrel, which causes gas to dump back out of the barrel gas system assembly into the receiver. When it goes into the receiver, it comes out of the back of the receiver right here and into your eyes, which makes it uncomfortable. The gas will pour out of here, and if you've ever shot a DI gun that was over-gassed with the suppressor on it, you get a bunch of blowback. There's ways to fix that. The PRI Gas Buster charging handle is one of them. The other one is to go with a piston system right here, like this right here. In the piston system, when the round goes off and the piston strokes, you may get some gas out of the back of the chamber as the case is getting pulled out, but the majority of the gas that's vented is all vented out, out the front of the gas block area, right in here. The gas vents in this area. Almost all piston systems do that. What they've done is they've moved, we're going to use the car analogy again, they moved the muffler from here to here. This is where the excess gas is exhausted. Farther away from your face, farther away from the moving parts, farther away from the trigger assembly, out of the receiver. So this is where the gas is dumped. On the LWRC, the exhaust works the same way. As the pressure builds up, the gas pressurizes right here. It strokes this piston. As soon as the piston gets to this position right here, these holes vent the gas. So the gas is vented right there. That's your exhaust port. The gas does not come all the way back and into the receiver. So instead of the force being applied here, where the, the gas tube comes into the receiver and applies the force here, the force is applied here and transferred via the piston rod. Or Gene Stoner's design of the uh, AR-15 is was very revolutionary when it came out because it reduced the number of parts, it reduced the possibility of a uh, piston getting bent or broken with the advance in materials. This stuff can be made uh, extremely tough, extremely good quality. The tolerancing can be very, very good and very made to be very robust. So these are short stroke piston systems. There is another type of piston system that is different. It's called a long stroke piston system. If you want to take a look at that, I'll put a link down in the comment box to the PWS long stroke piston system. It is different than both of these gas systems. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment. Send us a message. We'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. That's what we're here for. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash modern pawn and guns. And check out the website, modernpawnandguns.com. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have more great content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching.